In the world of police accountability, there's two kinds of auditors. There's regular auditing, and then there's beast mode auditing. When you're talking about honor your oath, civil rights investigation, you are in beast mode. And the gods agree. <laughs> Let's go ahead and cut to the chase. You guys got one or two choices. You can respect that what I'm doing is a civil civil right or you can violate my rights what did you do this is first amendment protected activity safeguarded by first amendment marine corps guys fought for my right to do this all right so that's your two your one of two choices you can respect that what i'm doing is civil right or you can violate my rights i've already said on this new channel a couple times the reason i do this is because it's instructive and the more education that we can get the more knowledgeable we come we become knowledge is power and those who desire to be ignorant and free desire what never was and what never shall be i'm going to show you this auditor this is honor your oath civil rights investigations this is jeff he did a fantastic job on this. I want to show you the hypocrisy of the Marines who walked up to him. And I want to show you the assertive, not aggressive, but assertive posture Jeff displayed in this audit encounter. And it's very important, guys, because this kind of thing right here can really set a brush fire freedom in the minds of those who may think they're powerless. This is called standing up to the man. Listen to Jeff. Watch him operate. Georgia, this is the home of the headquarters of the Marine Corps Logistics Command. Um, the men and women who serve on this base swore an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution. They swore an oath to uphold and defend the right for me to do what I'm doing right now. And that is First Amendment protected activity. So we shouldn't have any problems out here, right? They swore an oath. Some of them, they claim fought. Some of them, they claim died for my right to do what I'm doing right now. Okay, so here's the first encounter. This guy right here may mean well and wants to keep Jeff out of danger, but he's actually promoting a lie. Listen to this. The federal law that I can't take pictures of the federal base? Federal to take a picture of a federal installation. Oh, but I thought the men and women that in the Marine Corps actually fought for my right to do this. Yeah, well, if I am a Marine. I'm just telling you so you don't get in trouble. Oh, so... It's a federal offense. It's a criminal act to take a picture of a federal installation. Keep that in mind. We're going to visit that in detail in a second. Yeah, you fought for my right to do this. So it's a federal installation because it's a, it's a security issue. They don't let you take pictures of the... That is incorrect. A man on the street with a camera causes a potential security issue with the federal government by recording and exercising his first amendment right to record on a public roadway aimed at a federal installation. Keep that in mind because we're only talking about the ground view of an independent cameraman. Yeah, it's called anti-terrorism. Nope, you're wrong. Anti-terrorism. First amendment protected activity, dude. dude All right, dude. Go Have a good day, dude. All right, dude. All right. All right. So it looks like the. Uh... All right. Let me show you something. This guy made the excuse and he claimed to be just doing it for Jeff's good. It's a federal offense to take pictures or video of a federal installation because it's anti-terrorism. Let me show you something. The reason I make a big deal out of a cameraman at ground level in this guy's mind, creating a situation where terrorists could gather data and information. Watch this. So it's okay with Google. I want to show you, this is Google Maps. Actually, this is Google Earth. Let me, let me zoom out here. This is the actual federal installation right here. Let me show you where Jeff was standing. Jeff couldn't possibly, from his eye level, get anywhere near the kind of information that a terrorist would want to gather on a federal installation than what Google does. So it's okay for Google to uh, not only take pictures, but give you satellite imagery, detailed satellite imagery of this federal installation. That's not a federal offense that anybody in the world can have access to, even our enemies, the enemies of the United States. But it is a federal offense for Jeff to do it. Let me show you where Jeff was standing. First of all, here's the federal, federal installation right here. 
See this tree? I don't know if you can see my cursor. See this tree right here? We're going to zoom in on this tree. This tree right here is this tree right here. Let me show you. We're going to zoom in on this tree and we're going to spin it around right here. I'm going to show you the eye level that Jeff had. This is the tree and I'll show you why, why I think that is the tree. Jeff was standing approximately right here where my cursor is. I'm going to zoom in on this just a little bit more and let's spin it around right here. Oh, you might even be able to read this. Oh, wow. Let's read this sign. Can we read this sign? Can I zoom in any more? Let's see. I can't read this sign, but see the, see the shape of this sign right here. This sign right here looks to be this sign right here. So Jeff has taken ground level, uh, videography or, or video capturing images of this federal installation. The guy just said it's a federal offense to take those kind of pictures. But if you go to Google earth, you can get incredible details that Jeff couldn't possibly get unless he, unless he launched a drone. So now with that as the backdrop, let's watch Jeff's interaction or rather the Marines interaction. Oh, by the way, Jeff is on this side of the road right here. He's on the public side of the road. He's not even standing on the federal side. And even if he was, there's at least a 10 or 15 foot easement where he can actually be standing on that and it would be just considered publicly accessible property. So with that as the backdrop, listen to how ridiculous these Marines sound as Jeff not only stands for his rights, but also the rights of everybody, every human being in the entire world. Because I'm telling you, an injustice against one man anywhere is injustice against all men everywhere. If somebody's trying to take away Jeff's rights, they're trying to take away your rights. If Jeff stands for his rights, he's standing for your rights. Let's check out the video. Police are coming out off of the base. I can't hear what you're saying. Okay. Okay, so let's, uh, I'm gonna fast forward this a little bit to where he turns around in the road unsafely. Look at this highway. This guy's <laughs> gonna partially bl block this roadway right here. That looks like a major roadway that people are traveling at a pretty good clip on. This gentleman's actually blocking the road a little bit. Yep. In the road. Sure is. Good, how are y'all? What brings you out here today? I'm doing a little First Amendment protected activity, that's all. First Amendment protected activity. Yes, sir. Uh, it's freedom of the press. Freedom of the press. Yes, so you're sir. with the press here at Albany? Uh, I am with the press, yes. Okay, do you have any credentials that can verify that? Uh, do you have training to verify credentials? I need to see it. I need to get some ID. Okay. If I could see your ID that verifies that you are qualified to check media credentials. Training, have you had? Training or not. Yeah. Building, federal installation property. Yeah. Like the barnhouse up there. Right. Let's get it. Let's, let's go ahead and cut to the chase. You guys got one of two choices. You can respect that what I'm doing is a civil, civil right, or you can violate my rights. One of two choices. I don't think that could be put any better. All right, let's cut to the chase here. You guys got one of two choices. You can either protect my rights or violate my rights. All three of you guys took an oath to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States, which means the right of the freedom of press against all enemies, foreign and domestic. You got a choice. Will you become the very domestic enemy that you swore to protect me from? Or will you stand firm in protection of my rights? Love A plus, A plus plus for Jeff at Honor Your Oath Civil Rights Investigations. This is First Amendment Protected Activity, safeguarded by First Amendment. Marine Corps guys fought for my right to do this. All right? So that's your two, your two, one of two choices. You can respect that what I'm doing is civil right, or you can violate my rights. Balls in your court. I'm not out here to play games with you. No one's trying to violate your civil rights. All right. I love that. Often you see auditors as taking the defensive posture. Jeff went ahead and cut to the chase and took an offensive, not aggressive, but assertive 
fast forward posture. It's like, go ahead, do what you're going to do, but let me lay it on the line for you. People at least thought they died when they got embroiled in the bankers' wars and lifted their hand toward heaven and swore to protect the, the, the Constitution and actually honor their oath. And you guys are out here going to try to take that oath away? Come on, let's do it. I can't hear you. I'm hard of hearing. You don't have the right to film the guard shack. I do too. I do too. From, don't. from yes, I do. Because like I said, you're... you don't have the right to film the guard shack. But look, look. Let's take a look at that guard shack. Let's let's take a look at uh, a perspective that Jeff from Honor Your Oath Civil Rights Investigation couldn't possibly have. Look at this. You want to look at uh, some angles of the guard shack? Let's uh, let's see. Let's see. There's the guard shack. Uh, oh, let's go up into here. Let's see. Jeff couldn't even get up here. His camera couldn't even reach that far, but look, we can take a look at this right here. See how many cars in the parking lot? Oh, look at that. Like we can zoom out, we can zoom in. Look at that. We can, we can get so many different angles here, but it's illegal. It's a federal offense. Does that mean Google? Uh, Google Earth has committed a federal offense? Information that anybody on Earth can access? You I'm not here to here. argue with you about you're it. I'm not here. here to, I'm not here to argue. I'm so not here to argue with you about it. I'm not here, here to barter with you. This is first amendment protected activity. Filming is. I have a right to do it. It is not. I'm not on your federal installation. You I'm across the street. The federal installation. I'm across the street. I've never been in, on your federal installation. Like I said, you got one of two choices: violate my rights or respect my rights. Sorry. Love it. And I'm not going to. I'm not going to argue right with you about it. It is illegal to film. It is not illegal. It is not illegal. We're not going to argue about it. It's not illegal. It is. And even if there was a law saying that it's illegal to film, then they have to admit that that law takes precedence over the supreme law of the land, namely the First Amendment right to freedom of press. We have signs and there is on your property. It's illegal no, beyond, beyond, your gate, beyond your gate, beyond your gate and on your property is legal out here on public property. It's a civil right. Commanding officer just called off the dogs there. Just order followers, just following orders. Conformists, doing what they're told regardless of what is right. All right, so. Their supervisor just told them to get back on the base. They are out of their jurisdiction. This is unusual for me. My hands are actually shaking a little bit. I've been doing this for more than 10 years. So, And guys, unless you have nerves of steel, this is a nerve wracking thing. You're actually being approached by people who have, you know, basically they're drunk on some measure of authority and power. They're coming at you. They're armed. They're conformists, not moralists. So they're going to do what they're told, regardless of what is right, instead of doing what is right, regardless of what they're told. Hats, hats off to honor your oath, First Amendment rights. Uh, I'm sorry, honor your oath, civil rights investigations. This is Jeff. Here's his channel right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the link to his channel, to that specific video in the comment and uh, the, the uh, pinned comment and in the description. So you can go visit him and let him know what you thought about it. When you go to his video, if you do like it, subscribe to his channel, share his video with everybody you know, and give it a thumbs up. Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the Google Thought Police in the comment section below this video. And I'll see you guys in the next heavily censored shadow ban video.